Hi, I'm Laura Nickerson, giving you the buzz on local news and events. I'm standing here at the beautiful Lost Virginist Creek, getting ready to head into the city of Calabasas Earth Day celebration and Green Expo. There's all sorts of residents, kids, and even a couple of pets coming to check out the vendors and learn more about how to help our environment. So let's take a look and I'll fill you in on the buzz. So what's the message that we're sending with this event? As you can see, we have over 50 vendors and most of them are not really trying to sell anything. They're trying to educate people. How environmentally friendly product you can have, what can you do to improve Mother Earth? So instead of damaging it, let's heal it. And that's where we are really. Recycling is great and all, but sometimes you want something shiny and new, especially when it comes to your chief financial officer. Former finance director and city treasurer for the city of Moore Park, Ron Ehlers, has accepted the position of chief financial officer. He assumed the position on April 1st. Ehlers will replace Dr. Gary Lysick, who became city manager in 2018. So a big Calabasas welcome to Ron Ehlers. He's shiny and new and really good for the environment. Isn't 40 like the new 20? Well, the Calabasas Las Virginas Historical Society looks younger and more spry than ever, and they're celebrating with a special event. The Calabasas Las Virginas Historical Society is celebrating 40 years of existence at its annual meeting on Thursday, April 25th at 5.30 p.m. at Founders Hall. They'll elect officers, plus guest speaker Dina Pitt will discuss the Leonis Adobe Museum. Also to commemorate the Historical Society's 40th anniversary, all charter members will be recognized and honored. Visit CalabasasHistoricalSociety.org for info. Congratulations and welcome to 40 Historical Society. It's just like 20, but with better toys and more crushing back pain. There's some incredible organizations here at the Earth Day celebration, like the Super Joey Foundation. What's that? Yeah, so we support children with cancer and their families. Our main event is the Ronald McDonald House, which is a place where ch low income families go and if they're kids are going through treatment, they live there. And then we, every month, we bring food and entertainment and just a lot of gifts to cheer them up. That sounds amazing. How do people find out more about this? Yeah, you can check out our website. It's www.superjoey.org. Excellent. Well, good luck with that. Sounds fantastic. And for you, here's a little bit of uh, local news. The citywide ban on plastic straws and utensils is going into effect on April 30th. City council members and staff recently handed out environmentally friendly utensils to local restaurants. For more information, visit cityofcalabasas.com. The city is sad to announce the passing of former Planning and Public Safety Commissioner Richard Woolard. He was very involved in city incorporation and many civic projects and organizations. The city and community send condolences to his family. Three sets of Calabasas High School teams were honored at the last city council meeting. The boys and girls basketball teams were honored as well as the robotics team, who ranked in the top 100 at the U.S. Create National Championships. Good news, the grass area of the Calabasas Bark Park is reopened during daylight hours and the city's working to get Grape Arbor Park open as soon as possible. For updates on the parks damaged by the Woolsey Fire, visit cityofcalabasas.com fire parks update. And that's our local news. Mayor Shapiro, it's Earth Day. Tell me, what does that mean to the city? It's a great day to celebrate spring. Look at the day we have today. It's a way to celebrate the fact that our city is always caring about forward thinking when it comes to the environment. Uh, we're led by our students. There's lots of youth here at the event, lots of booths, lots of opportunities for giveaways, knowledge, uh, and it's a celebration of taking care of our environment in the future for our future generations. This event's so cool. They have all sorts of animals and resources out here. Like this thing, what is this thing? This is an African pygmy hedgehog, an albino. Really? Because I kind of thought it looked like a baseball. It's a hedgehog. Huh, that's weird. Looks like a baseball. Maybe I just have baseball on the brain. Join us for the City of Calabasas Dodger Night on Friday, June 14th at 7.10 p.m. The Dodgers are playing the Cubs, and it's always a blast to hang out and watch the game with other residents. Special bonus, resident Samantha Shapiro is performing the national anthem. Tickets are on sale now at City Hall, Tennyson Swim Center, and De Anza Park. For info, call 818-880-6461. That's so weird. That's a baseball. Tell me more about how you found this little guy. So Nature Wild Works is a wildlife education and rehab center. This guy was a relinquished pet. We get some that way, some are injured wildlife, and they all travel to shows to teach people about how the importance of our wildlife. That's so cool. Do you think maybe just for me you could like name him baseball? No. So why did the city decide to do an Earth Day celebration? Well, it started out as kind of a requirement to be a Tree City USA. You had to celebrate Earth Day in some way. 
And it was, you know, kind of a small little event, um, you know, not much attendance. And then it's grown, and now it's a perfect place, once we redid the creek, to have it right here on the side of the creek, which is one of our greater restoration projects. And so it allows the community to see what we've done. They can walk down and enjoy the creek, and then we have all these vendors over here, these educational vendors telling people uh, about the environment. I also hear you're a member of something called SCAG. Tell me what that is. Uh, it's not as exciting as it may sound, but it's exciting. It's Southern California Association of Governments, and I was just elected to the Regional Council for our five cities, Westlake, Agoura, Hidden Hills, Malibu, and Calabasas. So I get to represent our region, and it's talking about sustainable future for all of our regions, whether it's traffic, housing, the environment. So it really ties into what we're here about today as well. Excellent. Well, I have to say, with this shirt on, are you feeling green? I am always feeling green on Earth Day. Kermit would be proud. <laughs> Thank you. Do you garden? Are you smart? If you are, stop by the Smart Gardening Workshop on Saturday, April 27th from 9.30 a.m. to 11. Don't need to make a reservation. You just got to stop by the Agoura Hills Calabasas Community Center and join in the fun. For more information, visit smartgardening.com. Go and you'll be the smartest gardener ever. The Earth Day Celebration and Green Expo is always a fantastic way to come out and learn a little bit more about your environment. And you can get more information on ways you can go green at cityofcalabasas.com. I'm Laura Nickerson, and I'll see you soon right here on The Buzz.